Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is it is your time to start building and moving in silence. And this one is very important, very near and dear to my heart. There's a lot of uh, reasons why you really want to move in silence. What I've learned is that when you share your business with other people, even your goals, your dreams and aspirations, I'm not going to lie. Most people do not want you to win. Most people do not want you to succeed. They do not want you to surpass them and realize your dreams. Uh, and the irony of it is a lot of the time it's the people that you're actually close to. It's your close friends. It's your family. Uh, when you share these things with people, what it does is if they are not on the path of growth and trying to do better for themselves, it triggers them because it forces them to look at the things that they're not doing. It looks, it forces them to look at the person that they're not becoming. So they really don't want you to succeed. You really want to keep your business, your goals, your dreams private. You know, spiritual warfare is a real thing. Energy is a real thing. If you're watching this, you know this already that one best case scenario, you share your dreams, your aspirations, what you're up to with other people and nothing happens. Worst case scenario, you share it with someone who you thought you could trust and they actually go behind your back and sabotage you. They actually go uh, behind your back and make some moves and talk some trash or spread rumors. So again, energy, you being a light worker, a star seed, someone who's trying to go out on your own and do these things, you know that energy and vibes are a real thing and that actually, especially as a light worker, a star seed, you've always been targeted. You've been abused, maybe neglected, abandoned, taken advantage of that the more people that you share with what you're up to and the things that you want to do, the more at risk, the more of your energy is being put out there and not necessarily a good way. You want to keep things tight. You want to keep things quiet. You know, there's a couple of things that come to mind when I say that. If you think about anything that's great that grows, it grows quietly, right? Think of like a huge oak tree or like a sequoia or a redwood tree. Trees don't make a lot of noise. You don't even realize they're growing. They just grow quietly in silence because they're putting down deep roots into the ground. You know, you need to keep things private. This is a way to protect your energy. This is a way to protect your vision and a way to protect your goals. I mean, you really don't even want to share it with the people who are super close to you. And you can if you really trust them. But even then, I really wouldn't advise it. As the saying goes, sometimes your greatest enemy or your biggest enemy is someone that's super close to you. And your greatest ally or your biggest supporter is probably a complete stranger. And along with that note about sharing your business with other people, Really, when you share your business with other people, you're putting unnecessary stress and pressure on yourself. You're sharing it and say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm up to all these great things. And you're putting your business out there. It's really who are you doing it for? Why are you telling other people? Are you doing it because you want to be seen in a certain light from other people? If the answer is no, and hopefully it isn't, because if you're going towards your dream, it should just be about what's near and dear to your heart, how you can help other people and what your purpose is. This is for you. It's not for anyone else. You just let people see it as it naturally grows organically. You know, if you're sharing your business with the intent to like show off, there's a couple things with that. One, yes, you're putting necessary, necessary energy out there. And what I realized with myself is by sharing all these grand goals and dreams and aspirations within myself. One, yes, I was spreading my energy thin and putting it out there. But two, for me, it was a way to self-sabotage myself. And the way it was self-sabotage is by me sharing and putting all of what I'm up to out there and saying, I'm going to do this. It's going to look like this. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. This is how it's going to happen. I was constricting my vision and not trusting in the universe that it would show me the steps along the way and I wasn't allowing myself to be flexible because I was like, oh, it's going to be like this. And then I was putting unnecessary pressure on myself because now that I put it out there, oh man, I got to make it happen. And if I don't, oh, I'm a failure and all these things. So that was one way that I would actually self-sabotage myself was by putting my dreams, my goals and aspirations out there. And by doing that and self-sabotaging myself by putting unnecessary pressure on myself, it was a way to, once I did fail or give up, to reinforce the false belief that I'm unworthy, uh, I'm not deserving in my dreams, or I'm not capable of it, and I don't have what it takes to build my dreams. 
So I used to just blast everything. And now, oh my God, it's complete opposite. I'm just going about my business in silence. I'm just building it brick by brick. I'm not telling anybody. I'm not even telling my sister, who's honestly one of my best friends, and I know I can trust her. Again, this is no one else's business but my own. Your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, they're no one else's business but your own. You're doing this for you because you have a vision, you have a purpose that you have aligned with, and now this is the next step is to start building and moving in silence. Now, one thing that comes to mind is, okay, social media, I need to share what I'm doing and putting it out on social media. Yeah, you do. If you need to start making content and doing some stuff, obviously I'm doing YouTube. People that you know might find it, you know, they, they might look out there. You need to start advertising your business on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, you do need to do that stuff, but they don't need to know why you're doing it. If they start asking questions and that's a big red flag, if people are starting to get all nosy and they want to know what you're up to, you can just kind of give them that like kind of weird, ambiguous answer. Like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just messing around on social media, you know, nothing crazy. Just play it down a little bit and just leave it. Change the subject. Build and move in silence. It's a powerful, powerful thing. Uh, one of the other things that I put in my notes here as I, as I kind of review is uh, <clears throat> by putting my business out there and so, it was a way for me to self-sabotage so that when I failed, I could reinforce that false belief that I wasn't worried and I didn't have what it takes. And I know I said that, but the underlying thread was this was a way that I was subconsciously keeping myself small by reinforcing that belief so that I could fail and, and not succeed, right? And the quote I want to share with you that I looked up, and it's from uh, Banksy, right? Which is one of the great artists of our time who is kind of this enigma, right? He carries this mystique. And uh, it was a really cool quote, and that's why I want to share it with you. I don't know why people are so keen to put the details of their private life in public, they forget that invisibility is a superpower. You think about it, the invisible man, right? That's a superpower. Imagine being able to walk in and literally be invisible throughout life, the things that you're going to pick up on and hear that most people have no idea about. Invisibility really is a superpower. But for me, I wanted to share this topic because it's about energy, Everything is about energy. You know that as an empath, as a healer, as a light worker, you are super sensitive to energy. So knowing that and knowing that your light is extra bright and it triggers people just by being, you walk into rooms and people just automatically don't like you because your light is triggering up the darkness and the demons. Keeping your vision private, keeping your business private is a way to protect your energy, protect your dreams. You know, you don't want to, one, sabotage yourself, but your business is your own. It doesn't need to be about anybody else or what you're up to. And if you feel the need to share, like overshare, that's usually a trauma response. You know, you're looking for validation. You're looking for something outside of yourself and you need to rethink, okay, shoot, is this vision really for me? Am I really doing this because it's near and dear to my heart? Or am I trying to get validation from others, right? And there may be some more work that you need to go into uh, within yourself in order to heal that. So the last thing I want to do today for you guys, uh, one, I'm in a serious transition myself, man. And um, I know the last couple just starting me or me starting to get back into making content and videos, uh, just holding the camera in my hand, man, that would bug the hell out of me if I was watching a video and the camera was shaking and the audio was bad. I'm like, God, I can't even want to watch this. Like, I want to hear what he has to say. So I went and I, I dug out my selfie stick in storage. So hopefully, man, we out here in the car YouTube studio, I got my selfie stick bouncing on a book that I carry in my bag. So hopefully that's one thing I did. But while I was in there uh, in my storage unit, um, I have my boxes of, uh, you know, crystals um, that I use for uh, my altar I meditate on. But again, since I'm not settled in my own spot yet, I thought one thing would be cool is I pulled one of my Oracle decks out. So I want to pull a card for you guys today. We'll see what comes up for you. This is my favorite one. It's the Archangel Power Tarot card deck. Um, this is the one that's I tend to use the most. Woo! See what I mean? We up in this freaking, exactly, we in this YouTube car studio right now. We're going to balance this thing and finish up the reading here. So uh, Archangel Power Tarot card. Uh, that's the deck we're going to pull. Always three taps, clear the energy. 
ask for the most purest and divine truth and my highest good, the highest good of all the viewers here and the highest good of the collective. And that's how we always do uh, our readings and want to start it out. So we'll do a little shuffle here see what comes up. And what we want to ask for is just any sort of guidance, any sort of message that can help you specifically and then the collective, right? <sighs> I always take a deep breath. What feels good. If nothing pops out, that's the one. We're pulling the 10 of Raphael today. The message is love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. I always like doing these readings. and I'm going to let you see up close what this card is because I always want you to look at the picture. If anything in the picture resonates with you, meditate on that. What does that mean for you? What stands out to you? The message at the bottom, I'll read it again. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. Good omen. So for me, what comes up is in conjunction with today's message about keeping your business private, when you keep your business private and you're building your dreams, love and blessings are going to fill your life, your private life. You don't need to be telling anybody about your personal life, harmonious relationships with family members. As you keep your business private and you build your dreams, you will live happily ever after. There's an extended reading as well that, of course, I'm going to share with you guys. So we had the 10 of Raphael. Let me look it up. So love and blessings fill your life. This is a beautiful moment where it seems as though you have it all. Your family is loving and happy. You may still work hard, but there's a feeling of satisfaction and peace when you come home. Your relationships with your children and other family members are peaceful and harmonious. Relationships can be a lot of work, but they're worth it. Your hopes and dreams are within reach. Again, talking about building and moving in silence. It is a beautiful home life you're seeking. Or if it's a beautiful home life you're seeking, you're on the right path. Happy romantic, the additional meanings, happy romantic partnerships, trustworthy relationships, the end of stress, living happily ever after. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much again for watching. If this helped you or you watched it and you know someone that this could resonate deeply with, maybe there's someone who overshares and needs to hear about how important it is to keep things private, uh, please like, subscribe, share the video with them, and we'll see you out for the next video. Peace, guys. Love you.